For those of you familiar with the popular note-taking apps Roam Research and Notion, the main advantage that Roam Research had over Notion was the use of bi-directional linking. Well today I'm excited to share with you the latest update to Notion which adds this function of bi-directional linking or backlinking between pages and we're going to take a look and see if this feature added to Notion is as useful and as powerful as the one in Roam. Hey guys, my name is Daniel Languish and this channel is focused on increasing value in tech, productivity, fitness, and lifestyle. And if you're someone who loves Notion, make sure you click the like button below and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on learning more about this amazing program. And guess what? This isn't the only video I've made about Notion. I have a whole playlist that I've been putting together covering all the different areas of Notion and there's a link to that above. So you click on that if you want to check out more videos just like this one. But with that being said, let's jump into it. Now if I had to say leading up to this last Notion update, what was the number one feature that I was asking for for Notion to add? It would have been backlinking, bidirectional linking. And for those of you who don't know, this feature basically takes the different notes that you have and creates these connections to them so that you can easily reference back and forth. And uh, you know, if you think about it, this is actually the way that our brain works. Our brain works by making connections between things. You know, when I go outside and I see clouds, I hear thunder, I have this connection made that, oh, it's probably going to rain. And these are uh, connections that get made about everything in our life. And now with the addition of backlinking in Notion, you're actually able to start making these links digitally within your notes and then get insights from your notes that you would have never been able to get before. So how does this work in practice? Well, let's go take a look. So we're going to take a look here at an article. This is just a random one I found. So it says researchers discover how worms pass down knowledge through the generations. Uh, this could be maybe what you're interested in studying. And you're uh, going through this and you're wanting to take the, uh, t the main topics that are talked about in here and categorize them into a, into a certain category so that they're easy to reference. Um, and backlinking makes this super, super easy. So let's say we have, we, you know, this is talking about worms. So maybe we want in our worm page that we have a notion, we want whenever we go into that, every single article or t time that we come across an interesting thing about worms, we can connect it to there. So all you would do is let's just delete this here is you're gonna do double bracket here. And you'll see when you do that, it pops up with this kind of, uh, what are you gonna connect it to? And I'm just gonna type worms, and you'll see worms in biology. And so now it's kind of got this link that it's showing here. So, uh, and if I click on that link, it's gonna actually take me to the worms page. You'll see now on this worms page, it's got this linked to this page section and it's gonna show me every single uh, connect backlink that I make that's two worms. So let's say then you're needing to write a uh, lengthy research paper on worms. Well, you can just go into your worms page and you will have every academic, you know, uh, podcast, movie, you know, documentary, any information that you've gotten about worms and taken the notes and connected it will be right there. And what's awesome is you click on this and boom, it just pops you right to that spot. And so let's, you know, let's say, uh, you know, okay, what the heck, we're talking about DNA here. So let's add a, uh, let's go back here and add a page for DNA. Then they go in and I could write here, double bracket, DNA, and it takes a sec, pops up, boom, and now I've got a link to DNA, DNA. Now, what's really cool is that, let's say I, you know, those were already pages that I had created that I'd linked. What if I want to create a new page based off it? Um, you know, let's, let's look through ele elegance. You know, I don't even, don't even know what that is to be completely honest. Um, so we are going to do this and we're gonna go elegance 
And then you'll see it has linked a page, but it says no results because you don't have anything. But it could say you could either make a new sub page or new page in. Now, if you do new sub page, that's going to basically create a new page of with this as the title within the current page that you're in. Whereas if you do the page in, you can add it to somewhere else. Now, this might be useful because it would fit with what we were doing earlier of adding those topics under biology. So I could click page in and search biology. And I'm going to, it'll take a sec, but now, and then we'll delete this. And now you'll see, I click on that and go back to biology. And we've got that as its own page. So you don't even have to go to here first and create it. You can create new tags that you come up with as you're going through your notes. Now this system fits really well with a master tag database. And for those of you who haven't checked out my master tag database video I just came out with recently, you're gonna to wanna to click on the link above and, uh, and check that out because this, it just complements it beautifully because now you can make links without having to use databases and creating link databases. Cause that, that was, you know, with the master tag database, I would have to, you know, create, uh, create a linked database and then I'd have to uh, connect it in a, a relation to my biology database, essentially. Whereas this, you can just do it naturally as you're going through your notes. You know, you can just, you can just be typing, 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 boom, boom, double, and then add uh, biology, boom, and then type, type, type. You know, like it just, it links it right into your notes, which is just wonderful. It's, it's so easy, so seamless. And then the benefit of having a master tag database is that this is just an even easier way to connect to the master tag database. So you could just, as you're taking all your notes, anytime you come across a word that is a tag within your master tag database, and you want to, when you go to your master tag database, have it show that connection. It's that that's just so useful as a as a student, as someone who's you know maybe out of just out of being a student and wants to use the information because I know I've experienced so many times of you're taking all these notes, but am I gonna really be using these things? How am I gonna actually remember all my notes? Well, backlinking is a wonderful way because it takes all your notes and keep categorizes them into those categories through a master tag database. And even people who aren't students, I mean, uh, you could do this with a, a podcast scripts. You know, if, you, uh, if, if you're able to export the script of a podcast or if you're able to export uh, book highlights from your Kindle, you could export them and then go through your, the highlights of your favorite quotes from books and add the uh, backlinking to certain things. And then now you'll have a link in that category to, all, all the books that you read that were about that. And that is just so, so powerful in being able to connect your information and then actually use it. Well, that's it for today, guys. It was, it was a quick one, but just wanted to cover this new feature because I really think this is huge. I mean, this, this shows Notion is listening to their customer base. This has been a long requested feature. And the fact that Notion is free, like you get this feature at the free level. I mean, Rome, Rome costs a lot to use and it's powerful, but it costs a lot. Whereas this, um, it gives you very much the same functionality at a free level and just really changes how you can connect all your things together. And I, I think that is super awesome. And so if you got something out of this video, like I mentioned earlier, click the like button below, subscribe to the channel. I really, really appreciate it. I'm, I'm super excited about this. and. Excited to look going forward how we can use this to further level up our Notion setups. And check out my playlist above to see any other Notion videos and uh, just keep learning and growing more in your Notion routine. But that's it for today. Until next time.